different angle today because um papa put my car phone holder at a different place on my windshield so hopefully um it's not doing too much shake rattling and rolling so this this clip is really just kind of like a test run if you will y'all was tired of me being right here in your face and i actually didn't want y'all that close to me anyway because you know we're in a panorama we are all the way at 11 days before delivery it is officially 11 days before delivery and for whatever reason my thought process my mood is um it still hasn't hit me it has not hit me that my life is about to change in 11 days so i officially have three days left at work today is a friday and then um, I'm definitely going to work on Monday and Tuesday. That's why I'm debating if I'm going today or not. Because it's just like, bruh, bruh. Do you really want to go? Do you really need to go? And the only reason I'm saying do I want or need to go is because I don't have my desk and I don't have my computer at work um, this week because we're training temps and so one of the temps has pretty much caught the hang of what it is that we do so they decided since i'm only there for a few hours a day that they will put her at my desk since she's there all day so i mean i'm not offended by that part it makes sense i would do it too and I just feel like the girls that I'm trained, the two that I have, like, they already know what they're doing. So I'm pretty much just sitting there. And if you know anything about just sitting around, then you know it makes you more tired to sit around and do nothing than it does to actually work. And so that's why I said I know that I'm going to work Monday and Tuesday because I already have let everybody know that, yeah, I will need my desk back on Monday and Tuesday because... I need to close everything out and um, and pretty much, you know, set myself up for maternity leave. I need to set my emails up to let people know that I won't be back till the end of the year. Um, clean all my stuff out, any of my personal stuff that I'm taking with me, I need to take it. Anything that I don't want to be bothered while I'm gone, I need to hide it. Like, I just need to, I need to set all of that kind of stuff up. So, um, that's what I'll be doing Monday and Tuesday. So, I'll definitely be at work on Monday and Tuesday. But, I don't know, y'all. But, um, what I do know is, we have a surprise going on tonight. And I don't know if I'll be vlogging because I told y'all how I feel about, um, vlogging around other people because it makes other people uncomfortable not everybody because y'all know i have sabrina in the camera all the time um you know most of my crew most of my crew um i feel comfortable for the most part cutting the camera on and it's doing what i gotta do but um still i told y'all i like to be mindful that everybody's not cool with me and, and I do understand that. So, yeah. There's that. So, but, but, but. I need to get my hair combed between now and 8.30 tonight. Because Sabrina has no idea that we are taking her out tonight. That the group is taking her out tonight. Um, we're throwing her a surprise birthday party. So she doesn't know where she's going she doesn't know what she's doing and she thinks it's only me and her hanging out but it's actually the whole crew so um that's going to be interesting because first of all she is very even though she doesn't mind being on the camera um she's very shy you know she's more of the laid back like i don't want no attention on me kind of girl like that's Sabrina so um, <laughs> so 
the event that we have planned tonight, it will definitely be a situation where it's going to be all eyes on her. So I don't know how she's going to feel about that. It can go one or two ways. She can really, really appreciate it. And this can be one of her best birthdays ever. Or this could be the complete opposite. She can cuss all of us out. And this could be her worst birthday ever. So, like, I want to, with everything in me, I want to vlog so that we will have this memory. We'll see. I'm going to just go off the vibes. Um... I think I told y'all a couple of days ago, I was just going to put my hair in two cornrows until I get ready to do my delivery style. And then what happened was I ended up with this troll doll ponytail. And I said, well, you know what? I'm not going nowhere. I'm not doing nothing. So I'm gonna just keep the troll doll look. So I was okay with looking raggedy. Like I had no problems with it. But then when, um, they came up with this idea to do this birthday party for her. I was like, well, no, I can't be out in, in the public. I can't be out in the public looking like, um, I don't even know what troll doll that is. I don't even remember them trolls names, but yeah, I, I can't be out looking like that. Now, I asked Papa how he felt about me looking like this, and he said he accepts me the way that I am, so um, that was another thing that made me feel comfortable. I was born this way! I'm about to go home and get my hair ready for tonight, and I will do my best to pick up the camera and vlog tonight's event. But if not, I'll just have to fill you guys in tomorrow. But I know that I have skipped about, what, four or five days? Like, who does that? I said I was going to vlog and check in with y'all every day. And the last day that I did was probably like, what? I feel like it was like 20 days before delivery or some crazy jump. But yeah, we're all the way down to 11 days before delivery. And, um... Yeah, so this is officially today's check-in, and hopefully I will be back. Bye, guys. Hey, y'all. First of all, nobody asked me why I got on this uh, pink Muppet lipstick. That's first of all. Second of all. know where I'm at. Well, I told y'all that I was going to do my best to vlog because it's somebody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> which is a drag queen show for those of you that have never been or never heard of it um it's a drag queen show here in atlanta so we're about to enjoy sabrina's birthday we surprised her the gang is here let me turn the camera around so y'all can see the gang all right we got two birthday girls because we got tar right here <laughs> Then we got Sabrina, who's always, you know, my rider in the cut chat. She's acting so shy tonight, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because we surprised her or what, but she's so completely off tonight. Then we got Mill. Then we already know we got Sheena Man LD. I already know what's up with her. Right, right, right. She got the titties out tonight. <laughs> right, right. And then the body out it on we got Right, right. I mean, because when you when you sin, yes. When you sin, you just sin. I mean, what is it? And then we got Cousin Nene. So, yes, everybody is introduced.
Well, I want everybody to say, hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Should I tell where you're from? From South Carolina. All right, South Carolina. And what do you do for a living? An entrepreneur. You just work at a warehouse. That's ain't nothing wrong with that. Somebody gotta work their shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's an honest living right there, baby. And how old are you, beautiful? 27. Make some noise for us. Look right there, buddy. Thank you, beautiful. Happy birthday, baby. Step on up. Hey, boo. Have a seat. What's your name? Katara. This Katara. Everybody say, hey. The tower, where you from? Douglasville. Oh, you know them? Oh, you do know them, okay. All right. So it's two of y'all here from Douglasville. What you do for a living? You work? Oh, the water department. Oh, shit. Okay, I owe y'all some money, probably. I don't I live from Chicago. We don't pay for water there. They pay, make you pay out of here in Georgia. And how old are you? 21 years old. Make some noise. Look right there, buddy. Thank you and happy birthday. Stay